Is it so yummy? <coughs> Goodness. So I just did one whole banana, a little bit of water, and blended it up in my ninja, and he ate every single bite. <laughs> So I shared my kitchen table in another video. This is my new kitchen table. I haven't cleaned up from breakfast yet, so it's messy in here. But this is a matching piece of furniture that I love. It's a buffet, and I really wanted to put it like behind the kitchen table or somewhere in here, but I really don't have any room for it. So I'm just gonna save it in my cart for maybe like when we move if we have some more space. But I love the extra storage that it offers and then the top of it. Um, I could decorate so I really love this y'all and it matches my table it's like the same brand the same style and I would love to put it behind my table but there's clearly not enough room over here I have the kids kitchen table and their toy kitchen and then over here is my workspace so there's literally nowhere to put it but I would love to have it and I've got some new curtains that I'm gonna be putting up today so I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a little bit dressed and a little bit ready for the day and then I'm gonna put up my new curtains and start a crock pot dinner hey y'all welcome back to another video my name is Marie if you are new here so today is Friday and my husband actually doesn't have to go to work today so I am gonna be doing my front porch makeover I have a new umbrella I want to put out since we don't have a covered front porch it's honestly miserable trying to sit outside and enjoy some fresh air in the direct sunlight so we're gonna put up an umbrella and go to Lowe's and find some flowers for my front porch and I'm gonna clean it and clean my glass door so I'm really excited to get my front porch taken care of today and I'm gonna take y'all with us along the way so this dress is from Pat Pat. I shared it in one of my last hauls, but the little flowers on it matches her bow so perfectly. It's so cute. She wanted a princess bun today. So our AC unit has been really struggling. I have it set to 67 in here and all night last night and it just now got up to 70. It was like 78 degrees the whole night and then this morning it finally cooled down. So every day around like the afternoon time, it gets so hot in here. So we're thinking about getting an AC unit, putting it in here in the dining area. We do have central AC, but it's just not doing the trick for us. So these are gonna be more so like room darkening curtains, even though I prefer the sheer because it lets in the most light. So 
So I got these curtains from a company called Nice Town and you can customize your curtains in the width and the length that you need specified for your window for your home. So I ended up getting four panels of these moderate light blocking curtains. These were so easy to install and I love the texture. And these curtains are energy saving. They're also easy to clean. I can just toss them right into the washer. It's amazing how just changing up something as simple as the curtains can really transform a room. I absolutely love these curtains and I love the way they look behind my kitchen table. I'm going to leave the link to Nice Town Curtains down below my description box. They have so many options, such a big selection. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I leave those down below in case you guys are needing some new curtains for your home. And next I'm going ahead and getting started on a crock pot dinner. So this is super easy and I'm just going to let it cook all day for about six to eight hours and it'll be ready tonight. Since we are doing our porch makeover today, I'm not going to have time to be in the kitchen cooking and I don't want to stress myself over it. So I thought I'd go ahead and take care of that this morning. So in my crock pot, I just added some stew meat, some red potatoes, celery, some onions. You can add pretty much whatever vegetables you want. I also added some carrots in there. And I'm also gonna share with you guys the seasonings that I'm using. And I'm using some vegetable stock because they were out of the beef stock, but this vegetable stock ended up tasting so delicious. For seasonings, I'm using onion powder, garlic powder, oregano, some Creole, and some salt. We still have balloons left over from Bella's birthday party and this one is hovering over the air vent. Jackson, what's it doing? What's it doing? I just got in the car and crank it up. I'm gonna let it run for like five minutes so it'll be nice and cool when the kids get in the car because it is 91 degrees today, but we are about to head off to Lowe's now. I have no idea what kind of flowers I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna kinda go and shop and see what they have. So I wanna just get some like potted plants to sit around on the front porch and maybe one for the back porch. I do need another doormat as well. My doormat is so worn out. It is several years old. I bought it whenever we first moved in here and it's just so worn out. We got our living room rug from Lowe's. That one's very similar. It is 98 degrees outside. We spent a ridiculously long time inside of Lowe's because I was trying to find the perfect flowers that I really wanted because flowers are pricey and I really don't want to spend money on flowers that I don't really like. I wanted to make sure that I was getting some that I really love. I'm going to go home and clean my porch and then we're going to decorate. It is almost three o'clock. We are at the Kroger right now. Eric just ran inside to get some baby food for Jackson. It is scorching hot today. I just put on a swimsuit top to get the porch done because I don't want to be out here in a t-shirt sweating.
so clearly if we owned this mobile home we would have done replaced the porch painted it done whatever to it but it really needs to be replaced so this is the old doormat that I'm gonna be taking up and then this is the new one this one actually used to be the same color but it's super old and faded so I'm gonna be replacing it with this one that is so similar it looks like half of a sunshine or a sunflower and then I got this one to go over on my back porch got my helper Arabella out here with me she's gonna go throw some trash away for me thanks for helping we stopped at Starbucks and I got a mocha cookie a crumble I'm gonna be cleaning my glass with this sprayway glass cleaner so this is something that Adeline made several years ago she actually got this for Christmas it was cement and then you decorate it so we drew a butterfly in it and she put her name in it and then she just put the stones in it so this is like a little stepping stone Arabella requested that I put a butterfly in a heart. So these are the flowers I chose. I thought they were so pretty. I got a large one and I got a medium one. And then I also got these planters. I thought they were really neutral and just really pretty. So this one also has some like little blue flowers. They're kind of like violet. So it kind of looks like red, white, and blue. So these are gonna be really pretty for July or just everyday flowers in general. And then I also picked up this little planter and then these flowers for this small table and I meant to get a little centronella candle for mosquitoes to put out here too so I'm gonna get one of those later today we're gonna run up to the Home Depot and then I picked up this flower and can it was like seven bucks so this is my back doormat it used to say please don't let the toddlers escape I had this at our old house it was so cute but it's super worn out so I'm gonna be replacing it with my new mat I still need to sweep back here but for now we're just gonna plop it down and it looks a million times better So in the house we used to live in we had a covered front porch and it was so nice to just sit outside and watch the rain and I was really spoiled on my front porch I miss it so much so obviously now we do not have a covered front porch anymore so I really have been wanting to get an umbrella to put out on our front porch for some shade so that we can enjoy sitting outside again and I love how easy this umbrella is to take up and down all I have to do is just crank the handle clockwise to open it and then insert the safety latch to hold it in place and y'all, this umbrella actually tilts for all day shade. I am absolutely obsessed with the way that our porch ends up turning out. I can't wait to share with you guys the end result, but we love to come outside and sit out here now. I'm gonna link this umbrella down below in my description box in case you guys are interested in one, but basically we just filled the base with sand. You can add sand or water to it, but sand will be the heaviest. And here I'm just moving things around like crazy, trying to figure out how I want them and how they look the best and how they are the most efficient. If we were not renting and we were purchasing this home, I would love to make over this porch to even rebuild it because it is in horrible shape. But the most that I can do to this porch is just to make it look pretty with some decorations and some flowers. So for the base, you can fill it up with either sand or water, but it's going to be the heaviest if you fill it up with sand. So we're just going to be using a little bit of sand from our sandbox to fill it up. Future gardener. All right, that's good. That's good. A bee. 
A bee just flew past my ear. Help me. Did you get a Capri Sun? Yeah. Here, I'll help you. I think we're really going to enjoy sitting out here a lot more. Jackson's actually taking his evening nap. His window is actually right here beside me, so I can hear him if he wakes up and starts crying. I can hear him right through the window. But the sun is usually the highest in the sky in the afternoon. And this umbrella is going to keep the sun off of us in case we want to come outside and sit. So it's just going to be really nice sitting out here. What do you think about the new porch makeover? Beautiful. What do you think about the porch makeover? Um, you like it? Water you want to water the plants? Mm -hmm. He wants to water the plants. It was Bella's turn today and tomorrow will be Nolan's turn to water all the, the plants. Okay, so we have to take turns. But Eric's actually sifting sand out of the sandbox so he doesn't get any dirt or leaves or sticks or anything. So we're just gonna have straight sand and we're gonna put it in the base to hold the umbrella in place. Obviously, if there's gonna be like thunderstorms, tornadoes or anything like that, we're gonna take the umbrella and go put it in the building. But just for like typical normal weather, we're gonna leave it out here. And it's so convenient to take it up and down. All you do is just twist this in a circle to raise it up or lower it. Eric, have we lived here for two years? October, 2022, we will be here for two years. And I've been wanting to do the porch for the longest time since we moved in. And I'm finally getting around to doing it. And I love it. Yeah, we're not gonna pick the flowers. You see the black stuff in there? That's called soil. And they need the soil and they need water so they can live. So if you pick the flowers out, then they might die, okay? So let's not pick the flowers. I just will hold them, and them won't die, and I just will hold them. Y'all, my whole house smells like this stew. It smells so good in here. I'm pretty sure it's done. So every time I'm in the hospital having a baby, I always request ice with grape juice. I don't know what it is, but drinking ice with grape juice is so much better than just drinking grape juice. I'm sure Eric's down there hot, so I'm going to make him some too. I brought you something. We played it! Well, I did in my way. I know that you are having a hard time right now. The umbrella also comes with a storage bag so we can store this in the building in the winter time without it getting dirty. So I have another weekly grocery haul that I'm about to share with you guys. This is gonna be everything to last us for about a week. So for some cereal, I got this big bag of honeycomb and then I picked up myself some more of these pita chips. I like to pair these pita chips with some roasted garlic hummus. This stuff is so good. I got the kids some Capri Suns. I got two naked pina coladas for me and then a strawberry bananas for Eric. And then for fries, I got these Arby's seasoned curly fries. These are so good. And then just for some regular fries, I got these golden crinkles. For some lunch this week, I got me and Eric both one of these. He can take one to work. These are the Marie Callender fettuccine with chicken and broccoli. These are really delicious. Some Chex Mix. I got two of these chicken fried rice. I got two BLT salads. A loaf of bread for sandwiches. For sandwich meat, I picked up some bologna, some roast beef. The roast beef is really good to pair with some pepper jack cheese. And then there's a specific bun that I like to get. It's like an onion bun, but they were sold out. So I just got regular buns. So I do have some regular buns here. And I also got some honey ham. I have some chicken patties in the freezer, like frozen chicken patties. So we can also use these buns for chicken patties with some tomatoes and lettuce, which I already have in the fridge. And then for one night, we're gonna have spaghetti. So I have some penne, some Prego traditional sauce, and and some Texas toast. I got a bag of Vidalia onions and then this is for lunches. It is the Tyson Southern Breast Tenderloins. These are really good and I like to save Chick-fil-A sauces to use with these. I like to get a bunch of the extra like honey roasted barbecue sauces to use with these. They're so good. For lunches for the kids, I just got some of these poppin' chickens. These are so convenient. For chicken Alfredo one night, I got some Classico Alfredo sauce. This is the roasted garlic Alfredo. This one is so good. This is the one I always like to get. For lunches, I have two of these Voila garlic chicken meals. 
And then I like to get these chicken fajitas that are already cooked. I just cook these in the air fryer. And then all I have to do is just cook these bell peppers with some onion and it's super easy. This is another dinner one night. It's the Fast Fixins Country Fried Steak. It comes with the gravy. This is a super convenient, good dinner. I always have to get two of these for our family, but these are the Jack Daniels pulled pork and we just pair these with some buns also. I got two vegetable socks. I got some celery and then I got some stew meat. I'm gonna be pairing this all together with some of these red potatoes. I got some more French vanilla creamer. I got some of these cherry tomatoes. The kids like to snack on these. I cut them up for Bella and Nolan though. And then I got the kids some of these strawberry Newtons. I got some Sunny D milk, two things of grape juice. I got some grapes and bananas and then the kids love when I make cookies, these are the cookies we always get. The Nestle Nestle Toll House in the tub. This is the one I always get. Y'all, these cookies are so good. And I also picked up a few essentials. So I've been using the Tresemme Rich Moisture and it's making my hair greasy. So I wanted to try something else. So I picked up this L'Oreal Evive Color Vibrancy. This is supposed to be for color treated hair. It's to protect your color. And I also picked up one of these Not Your Mother's. I love the Not Your Mother's brand. This one is called Blonde Moment and it's a purple shampoo. So a purple shampoo is gonna brighten up your Blonde. And then I got Bella and Nolan's more toothpaste. They use the Toms. This is the silly strawberry flavor. And then I picked up Adeline's more toothpaste and also picked up a two pack of some Equate makeup removers. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I really hope y'all enjoyed the way that I made over our front porch. I love it so much. I can't wait to go and sit out there more often. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video and I will see y'all in my next Tell one. Bye. What's best. What's best for you. I know that you are having trouble